Our Lady Peace is anybody home? Or if you're short on time, you can just say Olp Ia. But before anybody goes knocking on doors, I would like to take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Very special thank you to Liam Riley, Philip, Jacob Burrett, and fellow Ryan, Ryan Gibbons. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. The dogs. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. Step one, and don't shoot the messenger, but if you want to play along with the song, your guitar needs to go one half step down. So E becomes E flat or D sharp. A becomes A flat or G sharp. D turns into D flat or C sharp. G becomes G flat or F sharp. B turns into B flat or A sharp. And baby E, just like big E, is D sharp or E flat. Congratulations, you are now tuned one half step down. While there is no guitar in the intro, there is a synthy piano type thing, and it's playing chords, and those chords are F sharp minor, two, four, four, to D, to E, then A. Second line is F sharp minor, D, and simply let E ring out. For the part. This is one of the funner riffs I've learned recently. Grab the E string second fret. You're going to want to thumb guy it and it's probably going to be okay because we don't have to do too much down here. E string second fret followed by B1 G2. Give those two strings one strum and then B becomes two as well and you so then we want the open D string followed by that 2-2 two, two strummed thrice. Then we want the E string open and our same do-do-do-do. Followed by open A string and an epic slide up on the G string with your ring finger to the 6th fret and you're going to go 6-5-4, wiggling all the while. I'll do that whole thing for you. For the verse, the rhythm guitar seems like it starts not there at all, and towards the end of the verse, it's very barely there. But either way, these are the chords you would play for the verse. It starts out just like the first line of the intro, and later we're going to need C sharp minor, A string, four, six, six, five. So, F sharp minor, D, E, A. Do that line again. F sharp minor, D. Time. F sharp minor, D, E, A, and the last line, F sharp minor, D, C sharp minor. That's the rhythm section for your verse. The lead guitar is quite a bit more interesting. I'm going to go through line by line and we're going to count here. So the first two measures, I haven't done a two measure rest since high school band class, but the first line has two measures of nothing and then we're going to play G9, B7. It's going to count like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That's line one. Line two also begins with a two measure rest, and then we're gonna come in with G9, B7, G9. Then your pointer finger is gonna migrate to D7, and you're gonna pluck D7, G9, G6, D6. So it's gonna be. Two, three, four, two, two. Mom, why are you watching some guy count on YouTube? Three, two, three, four. Is line two. Line three has no rests. You're gonna start with the A string, ninth fret. We still want our G9, B7, and you're gonna pluck A, G, B, G. The second one is gonna be open D string. The third one is open E string and both nine now. 
slide up to 16 on the G string, grab B14 as well, and I'm going to put my middle finger behind my ring finger on G15 because we want to strum those two strings only and bend the G string, not the B string. So, hmm, so. Line four starts just the same as line three with our D9, G9, B7. Open D string. But now we want the E string ninth fret. This is a C sharp note. This is when the C sharp minor chord comes in. Pluck the same way. But then we're gonna do B9, G9, B7, G9. So. actually sure that that B goes up to nine there, but I like it that way, so I showed you it that way. It might just stay on seven and you pluck away. You do you. When you get to the chorus and there's no chords yet, just tinklies, here's what you're gonna do. Take a regular old D shape and move it up to frets nine and ten. The bass note is gonna change from G9 to G7 to D9, and the timbre of the string played sounds like A10, but that's the same note as G open, so you do whichever one you want, but it's going to start with a rest. So more counting, one, two, three, four, rest. To D9, and then your choice. Tinklies for the chorus. And when the chords hit, you know, hard, it's gonna be A, followed by D, or D major seven. I heard it done both ways in the song. This thing is a D major seven chord, so I'd recommend D major seven. That's open D, G, B, E, two, but D's great too. A, D, or D major seven, to B minor, and then G. We're gonna go into the solo, it's F sharp minor. The solo which begins just like Say It Ain't So. C sharp minor, G sharp major, same shape, but your fingers move one string towards the ceiling. Right. And then they must have realized this now, because instead of going A, E, they went B, E. B is two, four, 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 starting on the A string. So, C sharp minor, G sharp, B, E. That happens like three and a half times. You'll know when to stop because Our Lady Peace will go into the chorus. And speaking of the solo, do your own noodlings. It's the C-sharp minor pentatonic scale with an interesting addition. So we're going to have 9-12, 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, 9-12, 9-12. But along this theme, the B string can go 8-9, so you know you can to add that interesting flavor that they do. And those are all the pieces, so go use your earballs and figure out which one goes where when. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.